This is the On the Pony Express podcast. In-depth SMU football. Hosted by Billy Embody. Brought to you by Epic Estate Wines. Walking strong on the Pony Express. A weekly segment with SMU alum, owner, vintner of Epic Estate Wines, Bill Armstrong. Epic Estate Wines. World-class wines from Paso Robles Wine Country. Learn more. Epic. E-P-O-C-H. EpicWines.com. And now your host. And now your host, Billy Embody. One, two, three. Let's go. Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Walking Strong with Bill Armstrong over there. I'm Billy Embody, but we've got two former SMU stars. Very with us. special guests. Eric right. Dickerson, Harvey Armstrong. Guys, thanks so much for being here with us. Thank thanks you. For having thanks for having us. They're in town for uh, the homecoming. Yep. Graduated in 84. So this is your, spe- so this your special, uh, is it your 40? 40. 40. Damn. Damn. I mean, you old, dude. Right? I mean, think about that. No, you were 82, right? I was 84. I was 82. No, no, I graduated in 2002. Y'all got that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I want to say we got a special line today on this uh, Walking Strong edition. This is my special pony yes. wine, Mustang wine. Pony up. My winemaker and I made this okay. out of a out of a Barrel, a special barrel of wine. I made it about seven years ago, and I only give it to, to people that were in the league. Okay, but can I get a bottle of this to pony on? I don't know, man. Yeah, but when you here's the people. Here's the people. <laughs> people that I can I serve this wine to are former NFL greats. Can I pass it down. Pass sure. It down. Former right NFL there. greats <laughs> and and guys that just gave a load of money to SMU. Okay. So well, you better give me the part of NFL greats. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm thinking, you know, like you. Like a guy like, you know, like Harvey, like the Bill and Harvey Armstrong Fieldhouse. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, right, right, right. The right. Bill, can, we all, can we get that straight? Can we tell the public who built that really is? The Bill and Armstrong Harvey. The, the, the Bill and Harvey Armstrong Commons. Yes. Right. And soon to be uh, the Bill and Harvey Armstrong Football Operations Center in the new end zone. All yeah, right. I like that. You know what? Now, when the bill comes, you know, make sure it's addressed to him. Okay? Make sure it's but, addressed to but Bill. But the king is you. Huh? <laughs> anyway, guys, here you go. Thank you. Cheers, cheers, Thank you. Great to have you. Thank you. Cheers. 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 you into the best wine in the country. There you yeah. go, baby. Okay, let's take it. All right, so let's talk about a little bit. Since you're here back at home, coming back on the hilltop, I want to hear about how did you how did you pick SMU? How did both y'all pick SMU? I mean, Houston, mm-hmm. Sealy. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, prior to like 1981, we weren't very good. No. So how did that happen? I mean, in those days, let's talk about the original NIL. <laughs> <laughs> I let Harvey tell how you got uh, yeah. he says, Well, he's for me. He, he recruited me. He, he recruited you. Recruited yes, me. yes. I, I showed him around. I was his host. Yeah. So I'm the reason that he's the, the superstar. Uh, but I picked SMU basically because of the academics and being told, you know, I know you're, I see Eric cutting his eyes over here at me. <laughs> Uh, we can't curse on this show, right? No. <laughs> no. But, but, no. <laughs> but, but on a serious note, SNU was a school that I had a chance to play early. They, they wasn't that good. So I felt that I can come here and I'll be able to play as a freshman. And I was newcomer of the year, so I got, obviously I got a, a lot of playing time. And it was close to, to Houston. And my parents loved it. And they loved Coach Myers. And that's going to be one of the keys. And I guarantee you, Eric going to probably say the same thing about Coach Myers. That was one of my drawing cards for me. Uh, Coach Myers, academics, early, the play early, and to make a difference. I feel that I could make a difference here. Texas was good, and it was already good. So and, so were they, were they recruiting you too? Yes. Who, who was all over you when you were in high school? So you're oh, – what, what high school you went to in Houston? Went to Houston Cashmere, best high school in the country. <laughs> I think I think I think Craig James would. Uh, Derek, Derek. <laughs> yeah, but we beat him, so we beat Stratford. Okay, I wish Craig was here. Yeah, we beat y'all, Craig. I wasn't there, but uh, yeah, I was heavily recruited. Mm-hmm. I was All American high school, so I, I so SMU coaches told me I was crazy. Why would you want to go to SMU? And Coach Lee from University of Texas, I hope you see this podcast. He said we'll never beat Texas if you uh, go to SMU. Oh, is that right? Yes. Yes. Well, I remember and when we did yeah, beat yeah, them yeah. my junior year, oh, man. And, and by, the way, by the way, was that one of the greatest yeah. 
Oh, was that, was that, was that one of the best football games ever? They were like number two in the country, right? Oh, we, yeah. And we, we went were, down there. We were, yeah. Yeah. We were, they were ranked number two, and I think we were like, I don't think we were ranked. We weren't even ranked. Yeah, we, no, we weren't ranked. ranked. But yeah. we were both undefeated. We were both exactly. undefeated. Like, yeah. yeah. That's when we really made our name. So so that was one of the reasons one of the, the reasons I picked this. By the way, I was at SMU in Japan, believe it or not, when that game went on. And on the cover of the International Herald Tribune, Biggest college upset uh, upset in history. <laughs> yeah, it was it was it was awesome. So, uh, and and we we created our leaders. I mean, I won't hog the mic, but we created the NIL. See, I don't know all the illegal stuff they talk about. It was nothing legal. <laughs> I only got shoes, t-shirts, stuff. <laughs> Is that right? And my nose growing. Excuse me, excuse me. So I'm gonna let Eric take over now. Right? Right, so, so you recruited Eric. Yeah. So, you, so you go to Sealy. By the way, how big is Sealy? It's like, Sealy's only when my I, biggest I, room. Stop. Tell the truth. It's a. It's, it was two thousand people, like twenty two hundred people. Oh man. Yeah, it, had, it, it, it was a very small town. Hey, um, by, hey by the way, I, I wanted to plug your book. Mm -hmm. I should have done that. Right it's a great there, book too, guys. Right out of the box. Okay. Yeah, everybody uh, that watches this podcast needs to order on audio, on audible books. Because you hear his voice. Because it's called Watch My Smoke. Mm -hmm. I did, I did and er it. Eric read the whole thing. It was great. It really was. It Thank was you. really Thank good. I mean, you. there were some uncomfortable points to it. I mean, listen, you know, we talked about racism. We yeah, talked we about, you know, yeah. blah, blah, some of the tough things in the NFL. But it was terrific. And to hear it in his voice, in your voice, dude. I loved it. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Bill. I appreciate it. You know, I just, but one thing about me is, and Harvey knows, and guys who know me, I keep it 100. I don't, I just tell it the truth. I know. And my dad had a saying, he said, sometimes, son, the truth is, is not popular. Yeah. It's uncomfortable, but mm -hmm. you know, it's the truth. But anyway, going back to recruiting, uh, how I got to SMU, Har Harvey recruited me. When I came to go on my trip, he recruited me, you know, took me around. I think he kept my I think he kept the money that he's supposed to give me back. Oh no! <laughs> Five per diem. My per diem. Per diem. But you no. know, all of us did that. And I remember yeah, that. I kept the money too, so I, I, I figured it out. But, but tell what all we did that night. We, 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 we spent a bunch of them. We, we, had, we had a good time. We had a good time. So anyway, um, really to be honest with you, uh, SMU was probably like third on my list. Really? Right? Yeah, it was third. I mean, yeah, I, my, my first school I went to go to was OU. That's why I went to go to college. All right. Uh, and I, SC was my first visit that I went to. You know, I flew on a, I actually flew on a plane to go to on a visit. I went to USC. Huh. Uh, went to watch the uh, Rose Bowl. With, with, well, I bet SC was all over you. They were. Oh, I mean, they, all they, over they you. Were, I think John Robinson was the coach. Oh, John Robinson. Uh, he about what they ran back then. Matter of fact, when I got yeah. when he drafted me, when he drafted me, finally got me. I won't forget when I showed up at the Rams and said, "I finally got you." Yeah, which was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Because <laughs> yeah, she recruited me. Oh, that's so. Um, that's funny. But, but uh, OU was the school I wanted to, to go to school, and I won't forget, you know, they came to my house, and, I, you know, they gave my home, the whole spiel. And my mother, Baola, which is my great-great-aunt, was I called Mama, she was really quiet, and she would sit there and listen to Barry Switzer give a spiel, and, you know, Coach Rex Ryan was there, not Rex, Rex something, I think, right, come Rex Ryan, Rex something, I can't think of his last name. And, she, and you know, he was like, okay. He said, what about the education? Because he was telling football, I said, what about the education? Oh, you know, he get education, mama. She said, okay. So I won't forget when they walked out. I, I committed. I said, I'm, I said, that's why I want to go to school. Oh, you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I committed to him. Scared when, me. When, when I walked, when he, when they walked out, mama said, you ain't going to school now. I'm like, mama, nope. Eric ain't going to school now. She said, first of all, that man's a liar. To Barry Swiss. He's a liar. I don't trust him. We ain't going to school now. I was like, but my mom, I tell him, she said, I don't care. She said, boy, you a Texas boy. You ain't gonna live in no damn Oklahoma. She said, I'm an old lady. I can't be flying in no Oklahoma. And I'm like, oh my God. Oh man. So anyway. So 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 then later, I think Ron Meyer came like the like like, like the next day, a couple of days later. And uh, tell me about Ron. Was he just man, like, was he as charismatic oh, as he was. he was the best. I'm gonna tell you, he was the best. It, Recruiting, if, if Ron Meyer came to recruit you, right. you were going there or you were, it's, it's, you almost hated to turn him down. You right. hated to turn him down. Huh. So when he, he, came, he came to recruit me. Um, was he nice to you or was he nice to you? Ron was just, you know, he knew how to talk to me. He knew how to talk to the kids talk. Right. He knew how to talk to the parents. All right. Right. But Ron was flashy. Ron had right. the, the Super Bowl ring and the oh, Cowboys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, that, that, that. oh, yeah. You know, we, we're going to do this here. we we'll do that. You know, he was speaking to my neighbors. Yeah. I mean, he just. Yeah. And Ron was, he was, he was that guy. So with, with, I think, I know it got my mother. So we're sitting there talking. We were talking about football. And he said, Ms. Dickinson, he said, you know what? 
kind of hungry. You got anything here to eat? And she said, she said, sure. She said, uh, you can go in the kitchen. So we're going to go in the kitchen. And so she started you know, whooping up some, some, I think some chicken. And he, he, he helped. He put an apron on and helped her. Yeah. No. I'm like, I'm like, oh, I <laughs> and make a long story short. You know, every, every college coach listened to that story. And said, you. you know what? You got to put on an apron. And that, and then tell you, you know, I won't forget when she, 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 he tried to talk. But he said, Miss Dixon, let me explain something to you. A woman, because we love to have him come to SMU. She said, I'm going to tell you, we'll make him, he'll be a great football player. More importantly, to make him a good, a good man. A good wow. man. He got a good education. And if you ever have a problem with him, I promise I'll call you first. And when he said that, she said, that's what I want you to go to school. Unbelievable. And make a long story short, that's why I want that's how I want Well, how the hell did a and AM end up buying you that Trans Am? And, well, I mean, are they about your car? I didn't. I don't think that story's been <laughs> talked about much. Well, the, the great let's hear it again. But that, 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 that's ask the question. Yeah, you know, the, the, the two bullies. My grandmother bought, Who bought that car yeah. for you. Sir, let me tell you. You know, you know, you know, trans. We saw the book. You read the books. You know, you know the story. I know the story, but I don't think a lot of people that are watching this okay, podcast. Okay, well, this, 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 this is how the trans end came about. First of all, I wanted a trans end. Did y'all take me this? I looked at, <laughs> I looked at that car for months. It was a Leo Johnny, right off I ten. Leo Johnny and folks, a pun, pun yet. And so, um, it's just say one day, my, my mother, my grandmother said, you know what she said, Eric, she said, we're going down to Houston, look at that car, I'm gonna meet you and you're gonna meet your grandmother down there and, um, and, you, and your grandfather and some other people. I said, okay. So get in the car, drive down to Houston. And it was really Katie at that time, it was part of Houston. We, we drive down to Houston and um, get out. And I'm gonna forget the guy, hand me the keys and said, take it for a test drive. She said, my mom and, and uh, all grown ups went, in, went inside to talk. So. Throw it around for a while, man. This car, man. I love it. Love it. <laughs> and so, when I, when I, I, come, I come back, man, man. It. I came back, and uh, he said, It's yours. I'm like, Huh? She said, It's yours. I said, I like said, Don't you worry about it. I went in my mouth said, Don't you worry about it. You ain't got to worry about nothing. Sure enough, um, you know, and I'm going to tell you this here the next day, the next day, the NCAA was at Sealy High School. The very next day they were at Sealy High School. How the hell did that I have happen? no clue, it's but then the guy the 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 yeah, picture the in the paper. Yeah. But the guy yeah. told us later after you know after, after a, a lot of stuff, he kept, told us later. He said they were getting over a hundred calls a day when that car came. He said that. He said so. <laughs> he said I knew. He said we had a feeling, you know, he said it's gonna be another kid's gonna be you know kicked out of school because of violation, but they couldn't find anything. And, and I won't forget that the last day, I, the last time I saw him. Cause he came, he came so much to our house that he would eat dinner with us. That's what how, the, the, the NCAA. Yeah, that's how much the man came. To, he was in my house on the weekends. He was there every day at the house trying to find something. Then find him because my grandmother had to drive by to Houston to talk to him. <laughs> and he, she, he'd go down there. And I won't forget. I said, and one day he didn't see him. I said, Mom, what happened to that guy? He said, Your grandmother told that man, if I see you again, I'm gonna sue you personally, and I'm gonna sue the NCAA. Y'all cannot find anything on this car. And they couldn't. They couldn't find out. Wow. So and, and they really couldn't. So let me tell you how the car was bought. That's it. Okay. <laughs> so this is how the car was bought. So my grandmother, my grandfather, they would get a car, a new car every couple of years. My grandfather was he's a crane operator. He had a really good job. Okay. They, they, their car was always a Cadillac. Cadillac. Okay. So um my mother said, I said, My mind's good. She said, said, You never knew. She said, she said, What happens? Your grandmother paid, drove the check for the car, and AM gave her the cash back for the car. There That's you go. how the car was paid for. There you go. And boom. And trans, I didn't know it. So, yeah. man. And so, they, what am I going to say? Hey, we bought that car. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, that's how I got it. So that's what it's called. I think, that, I think that guy that's in big time that's in trouble because what AM was not a bit happy about the idea. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> that's <laughs> killing him. What's, what's the point? What I guess you did. did. What's the story of how the car disappeared uh, at some point down the line? Well, well the car. How did you find out? What do you mean when they went away? Yeah, when the car. When you you parted ways with the car for whatever reason. Oh, I parted. I, you, I got your grandmother car. sold it. No, no, I didn't. No, I, I I gave the car to my friend Charles Drake, and I got Charles a car. Drake. I got a Corvette. I got a Corvette. Now I don't know how that car, but I just, I just, I just when I walked outside, when they had a Corvette with keys in it, and then on that, I just started driving it. <laughs> <laughs> your nose in that mic. <laughs> Corvette. So boom, that was it. But let me tell you something, man. Everybody was doing yes. that. That's the kicker. Don't man. We, we were. It was like small. Every guy, mother's other schools, Texas, AM. Right. We all compare Kansas. notes. All of, we all compare notes. You all compare notes to each other. You yeah. all compare Kansas notes. We weren't getting nothing. It wasn't, it wasn't like we were getting life changing stuff. Kansas offered to buy my parents a home, a house. 
You told me that last night. Really, Kansas. Okay, A and M took us to a clothing store. We went shopping. U of H. I mean, it was it was across the board in the Southwest Current, but Kansas wasn't even. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I'm not going to Kansas, but but I sure like that idea. I know my father did. Yeah. Can we get a new house. Get a new house. I know. I'm like, dude, do you really like Kansas? I mean, can we can we not go to SMU? I can tell you, like the like the most money. I didn't see it, but my grandmother and my mom <clears> told me. A and M came to the house, and the guy had a briefcase, and uh, she said, oh, I never forget. She said. But when they left, she said, Eric, she said, let me tell you something. She said, I've never seen this much money in my whole life. It was $50,000 in that briefcase. I just said it was $50,000 in that briefcase if you would consider going to AM. and And she, I'll never forget her, what she said. She said, look, if you don't want to go to this school, do not take these people's money. You're not, right. take, you're not taking their money if you don't want to go to that school. I really didn't want to go. I really didn't want to go to a and I mean, I mean, a and a good school, but don't get me wrong. Back then, they didn't have the cheerleaders. They had Yale leaders. I am I yeah, I know. Yale leaders. I mean, yeah, 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 a bunch of bunch of bunch of boys. I want to see some girls. I mean, it was mostly that was <laughs> well, mostly boys at that school. Mostly guys. Mostly school. guys back, back, back then. Back then. Yeah. By the way, you don't you don't back you don't remember me because I was a nobody back in that You're but somebody. You, but we <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, don't feel how we pretty strong, right? Walking strong. All I'm saying is, like, you you would catch me when we you know how we picked up the mail. Yeah, oh yeah, right. And you grabbed me, and you knew you, all you knew is my my name, Armstrong. Said, Armstrong, I need to find me some dates with that girl over there. <laughs> you know, you <laughs> told me that. <laughs> and I'm like, one damn Eric. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Does that sound familiar? Yes, it does. All right, so <laughs> the, 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 we could go forever on nil. Yes, we can. But, but I want to. What would you say? Total nil you got ten grand. Uh, let's include the car. Let's just include the car. Back then, the car was thicker. The yeah, car. total for your four years at SMU. Yeah, I mean, Ron Meyer is giving you a hundred dollar bill here and there, and you know, you know, Bob more than that, but go on. Yeah, well, I, I, I mean, I mean, compared to no, today, compared to today, I that's a good question. I put it to you like this: uh, the uh, the car, with well, the car didn't come in at SMU. The car came in AM, so right. Right. you can't count that. Right. Uh, man, I probably got. I'm gonna go high. I'm gonna go really, really high, like like off the chart. Lucky, maybe. Fifteen thousand dollars for four years. Yeah, maybe fifteen oh, four hours. All right, twenty. But that's well, maybe. Well, maybe I'm serious. Maybe I mean it wasn't like that. I mean it wasn't. Think about it today. Money yeah, every, think about it today. I mean it's just it like, was monthly. Yeah. It was every yeah. month. But it wasn't no. It wasn't no I, mean, I got money every month. But and it wasn't much. No, no, no. They would take us to a clothing store. You can go shopping during Christmas time. Yeah. In Houston, we'd go to a clothing yeah. store and, and go shopping for my whole family. Stereo systems. For my, for my, yeah, see, I was getting taken care of to him and to, to some of these big wheels named Mikey Carter. Who's your guy? Robin Buddy. See, I knew Mr. Buddy, Mr. Buddy. Buddy, Robin, Robin Buddy. Robin. Robin. And, and, you, and, who, and you were who? Mr. O. Mr. George. Yeah, Mr. O was my, see, he was my guy until you came. Mr. George? Yeah. yeah. I, I was saying, oh, 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 oh. And then, and then he like, oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, walk with Eric. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. what I'm but, uh, but it's gonna get us in any trouble talking yeah, about this. Yeah. 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 God, 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 All this stuff is allegedly. Because God, yeah, really, allegedly. Really, allegedly. we're talking about other schools. And, and NIL back then is uh Nash Legal. That's, yeah, that's yeah, what right. it is. Now it's legal. Now it's legal. Yeah. Now it's legal. SMU yeah. was always on the cutting edge, even in the NIL really. game. But everybody, yeah. see, that's what we would really I hope everybody understand. Everybody was doing it back then. Yeah, yeah. It's just, they just made an example out of us with that death penalty, and that was so unfair. By the way, what I a couple of things about the death penalty. First of all, it was horrible for the university. Mm -hmm. Yes, and for the whole conference. For yes. the whole conference, yeah. it broke up the conference. It did. Yeah. But I also feel terrible about what it did for y'all as, 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 as young men. I mean, you were an 18, 19 year old young man. Well, 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 one thing is, I, I was gone. Like, yeah, we, we, I, I was in the pros and got yeah, the death penalty. Yeah. I was in the NFL yeah, like, I mean, four years. I, mean, I, I, was, I was in the NFL, and, and then, the thing is, they always seem to blame our class, like us, right. for, for the death penalty. I'm like. I didn't get to death. I wasn't there, but yeah. I but I knew the guy that kind of started that process right. because I was at Camp Pizzi's with him. Yeah. A guy named David Stanley. I won't forget it. Uh, I was in town. Mr. Odenham asked me would I come to dinner over. I said, sure, I'll come, I'll come meet y'all. I forgot what I was in town. You still this day love Camp Pizzi's. Oh, I just left there. We just left there. <laughs> we just left there. We just had a picture all over. My man, Corey, yeah. take, take care of yeah, me. Yeah, Corey is a great guy. So Go, anyway, go to Camp Pizzi's, guy, when y'all. Finish the wine. Yeah, so, so, so we we sitting there, and they sit, the, they sit him right to my left. They sit him on my left. He's he plays linebacker, and he kept saying, he "said, man, you're not that big, you're not, you're not that big." Is that right? Yeah. He said, "I think I, I could take you." 
I'm like, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all pro in the NFL. So he says it again. I said, man, you rookie of the year, too, didn't you? I'm everything, yeah. <laughs> so you know, you're big. So I'm like, okay. And I'm like, my man, I'm like, motherfucker, I will whoop your, I mean, I'll whoop your ass. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm, but I'm like, okay. So we, we, we get up, we get up the lead. I pull Mr. Owen and Mr. Owen and other guys. I said, Mr. Owen, I say, don't recruit this guy. I said, I remember I said, I said he's a bad guy. guy. I said, don't mess up stuff. I told him, he's gonna mess up stuff. I told him just like that. See, thanks for this. I'm telling him. So he said, it's okay. I tell the coach, I said, all right. Then I pull him aside, the, the kid. Yes. I said, I said, let me tell you something. I said, I don't mean nothing. I don't mean nothing. And this is like, a, this is like an 18 year old kid. Yeah. Said, yeah. He, he was talking. Yeah, yeah, you're all pro. Yeah. Rookie of the year. And so I tell him, and then they recruit him, and the rest is history. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was the he was the one that got us all. Yeah, yeah, he was the one. Yeah, that one had that level. That was the one from yeah. Pennsylvania, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 he was from no. Texas. No, he was from Pennsylvania. No, the other kid from Pennsylvania. Right? Stockbridge was from Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah. he's from Pennsylvania. Yeah, well, one of them is dead. Both of them did. Both of them. Both of them. I know they went there, but both of them. I think let's just say uh, yeah. man, it, it you know it really crushed that pro, our program. Oh man! Oh, and man. matter of fact, they did a thing on what's the day? Because it's AI, the new thing AI. Yeah. Yeah. They did a, a, a survey, some kind of with AI, and they said if SMU had not gotten a death penalty when we did, we would be one of the Power Five schools. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and we was on a roll. Oh, we, we was on a roll. Oh, are you kidding me? Field? Like you know, yeah, yeah. We were like yeah. in my junior year, and we just took from there. Yeah, we I mean, we were we were killing it. I mean. You know, I gotta say that I was I was proud to wear that musket in my helmet, that musket okay. because, and we would say it. I mean, we play Texas. Man, the cool thing about it is, you know, because you know you're not supposed to talk noise in the paper. Man, we would talk. We were scared of Texas. Yeah. I mean, we we said, man, we gonna whoop Texas. That's so how we would talk. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We we're not afraid of y'all. We can we can match yeah. up with any of y'all. Then we played Pitt, and I went in the Cotton Bowl my senior year. People like, oh, that's Pitt, damn it. I said. We're not afraid of Pitt. Yeah, yeah, damn Pitt. Yeah. 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 yeah, So, by yeah. the way, I, mean, I never have to ask you this. Right? All they do is talk about the Pony Express, but the defense. Ooh. I mean, that game in the in the Cotton Bowl, you held them to what three? Three, Ooh. three Ooh. points. How many guys on your on your uh, defense went to the NFL? Oh, probably about seven. Think seven about guys. That. Yeah. So you know, we always hear about the Pony Express. I know. I know. You know. You, you, and, and, and one thing I love about Eric and Craig, Craig James is saying, they always give the defense, even when, because I travel a lot with Eric, I go meet him in different places, yeah. and he'll say, oh, people talk about the, def the, the, the Pony Express. But, man, our defense, we had this argument with Richard Penn all the time. How good our defense, I know we got to tell that story, how good our defense was. So it's nice to get this kind of recognition from, from the ones who knew. We were pretty good. And I'm going to hold on, hold on. We were pretty, pretty damn good. good. Pretty yeah. good. Were good. Were so, so, so. <laughs> But but of course they get all the love and the glory, of course, you know. Oh yeah, the flash but, but the flashy. Yeah. yeah. It's finally the defense is having a resurgence at SMU this year. Yes. Number one in the conference, number thirteen in the country right all now. All right, now. I didn't know that. That's good. good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. All right. I'm gonna do something here that may just mess with your mind. Okay. okay. This is gonna this is gonna make my you up to smidge. Okay? okay. Here's something I always wish you got. Okay. Well, and you never five inch oh. okay. I already know that. That's what that's why. Oh man. What? That's why I got that clipping today. Yeah. No. Yeah, you're going to piss him off. You can hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see my clip. Let me, let me close this. You don't even understand. We just had this conversation. Oh, oh. Y'all are trying to start some stuff. You should have seen him pulling it out of the box. Yeah, I was I, like, I, I, I borrowed this from Dope Walker. No. This is dope. I know this is dope. Wow. But I tell you what, you got third <laughs> in the voting. Wow. Herschel Walker, number one. one. John, Elway, John, number, John, number, John Elway, number, number two, two, right? Mm -hmm, number two. And I was number three. I should have won the Heisman that year. Yes. I know it. I was the best friend. You, I mean, can, you I, can pet it now. I'm not you bragging. Can, you can talk about it. But I was the best friend in the country. And, and the thing about it would make – I mean, I thank God that I got a chance to play with. And I play a chance to play with Craig James and everything. I wouldn't do that any different. But when I look at my stats, I mean, Herschel, I'd rush me by, I think, like, 90 yards, and he had 150 more carries than me. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did I, I hear that number, though? I, I, I have 150 more. I have a seven yards to carry and had 20, 19 touchdowns that year. You know, so, but, you know. Well, you can have it for 50 minutes, right? You can have it for 50 oh, yeah. minutes. Oh, yeah. I, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I, 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 he gave me those stats one day. We were, By the way, this is really heavy. <laughs> 
really heavy. I'm shocked. <laughs> you, you could have dropped it on stage. Drop it on my foot or something. Like, hey, hey, we was having a Herschel Walker moment. One day we was in, we was traveling together, and he gave me those stats. What he just gave you guys uh -huh. that that ninety yards difference and uh, but hundred fifty yards more carries. Right. Uh, should, mm -hmm. But I should say, but I was pissed off. I'm like, really? I didn't know that they was yeah. that it was that big of a difference. Because mm -hmm. I'm biased. I want him to win it because he's my boy, my friend. Yeah. So, but to look at the numbers, I, I can't understand why. And I just got a that's the text I got today. Why you should have won the highest. Remember, I showed you that's what it was about. That some guy texted me out of the blue from Facebook. Oh, said why I should have won the highest trophy. Yeah. yeah. He said Eric, he said Eric should have won the Heisman trophy back in was it 81? Was it 80, 82? 82. Yeah. 82. He brought it up and showed me pictures, and I, that, that's what yeah. I just got that today. I'm just saying, this does I feel know, pretty good, I doesn't know. it? It looked good on your shelf. <laughs> you would look good on your shelf. <laughs> hey, you got you well, your Hall of Fame. Your NFL, NFL Hall of Fame. Yeah, but that Hall of Fame. But you know, but, but you know what? He's got, he's got something you don't have. Super Check ring. Check that. Come on. Super ring. Oh, yeah, I don't have Super ring. Huh? No. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. But, but hey, but but I'm in the I'm in the club where it's only a couple couple hundred guys. What's that Hall of Fame? Hall of Fame. Well, I'm all fighting too when my picture went from Instagram. My jacket red, though. <laughs> now, let's not get it twisted. I'm nowhere on that level. But you're also the number one rusher in the, uh, for still this day in the season, right? Yeah, yeah, I still got that record. Um, as a matter of fact, you know what I'm doing, I'm most proud of is my rookie rushing record 1,808 oh, yeah, yeah. yards, 20 touchdowns, because you know, you only get one shot at that. Yeah, you know, you're going to rookie one time, and I, I don't think that'll ever be broken for many, many, many. I'm not sure it ever will because yeah. the game's different. It's, it's different. Yeah, now it's a different game. And, you know, yeah. they're throwing it more, and yes. it's all about yeah. about the quarterback. Mm -hmm. and, and let, let me give him some props. I was at his house in the, in L.A. and I'm is his I'm in his trophy room. I'm looking. I'm looking at the Hall of Fame, the the the, the bus. I'm looking at that, and I'm sitting on that drooling. You know, I know I'm not on that level, so I'll never get there. So Although you were eight years in the league, I'm just saying. Well, okay, hey, hey, yeah. nine, nine. Yeah, come on. That's okay. That's okay. But I'm looking at it, I'm just over there drooling. I'm like, wow, man, Dick, look at that. He said, he said oh, man. I said, what you mean, oh, man? He said, oh, I said, you ain't proud. He said, I'm proud of this, but you know what I'm more proud of? I don't know if you remember. Huh. He showed me a picture of him and Walter Payton. Oh yeah, he showed me a picture. He always said, "I'm more. Pit I'm. I'm just. I'm just X." Let's not get it. You know, he's he's happy about his high. About his. Yeah. I'm sorry, the high. By by this Hall of Fame, but he was talking about a picture of him and Walter Payton. This is, a, and I, I'm a big Walter Payton. Oh, he picture. was man. So I was like, yeah. oh, yeah. he talked. They talked about his Russian title. And, yeah. You yeah. know, the red velvet cake they gave him for the Russian title. You don't want to get into that. I got. I got. I got a carrot cake. You got a carrot cake. <laughs> for my details, that yeah, Walter Payton that year got the three years old. Lamborghini. Eric got. Eric got a cake. I got a carrot cake. You <laughs> feel pleased about that? Carrot cake. But 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 that's how my pretty good. Pretty pretty good carrot cake. I can't eat. I had nuts. I'm allergic to it. Hey, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> and that was my sponsor back then but, but he's right uh man my, that picture of me and walter because matter of fact that's the first time i met walter i have a picture of my man is my wall mm -hmm. in my office and uh, we played him sweetness mm -hmm. oh yeah and, you yeah, know he's running back you know i, I yeah. walter payton and i want to have a better game you know, so i didn't want to say that before the game so I had 149 yards and two touchdowns. Oh, okay. Still remember. Still remember. So okay. after the game, I went over and I put my hand out. I said, uh, Eric Dickerson, he said, I know who you are. <laughs> oh, you know what? That made you feel that good. Made, okay. yeah, that made you feel good. I got, I got the pitch. I got the pitch. Yeah. 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 Great pitch. Yeah. I love it. Okay. So uh, we talked about the league. We talked about NIL. talked about how everybody's cheating back in the day. <laughs> At, at the no, no, no. Not, yeah, right the right thing. Yeah, everyone was doing it. The right thing to do. The right thing to do back in his day. That's what I thought. But SMU is finally back. Yeah. Yes. We're finally back. I mean, ACC. and I and, and one thing I really like is the fact that they're they're now embracing y'all coming back to SMU. Yes. Yeah. Which to me, I thought I felt like you were kind of put into into the background for a while because of the whole quote unquote embarrassment death penalty. You know, I didn't like that. And but we're back now. We're now in the in the going to be in the ACC, mm -hmm. which is P three because Pac twelve's gone, Pac -12's and, gone. And, the, and the Big Twelve's gone. Yeah, they're all they're all a bunch of they're trying, they're trying to jump out. They're all commuter schools now. So, um, <laughs> what do you think? Well, I think it's a great thing. Really, I think it's I think it's great for the program because what it does is it it makes 
guys that, that you probably wouldn't have had a chance to get because they wanted to play on national television mm -hmm. or something. They want to play yeah. on the big stage. And that's the same thing happened when we came out of college. You know, you know, like the HBCU schools recruited me, but I'm like, honestly, I want to play on I want to play on national television. Of course. Big stage. Absolutely. Yeah. And that, and that's what SMU they'll have. They'll play, they'll play the, you know, the Florida States, you know, they play the North Carolina, they play, play the big schools. If they're gonna be on a national stage. And that if I'm a big time recruit, I'm like, I want to go play there. And the big thing is, is that like I give Ron Meyer credit when he was head coach here. He recruited the Dallas, Houston area, just the Texas. That's just general. He, he needed to go out of Texas. And I think now SMU will get the kids here. They will get I the agree. kids right in their area. You know, the, the guy kids in Duncanville, the Soto, you know, uh, Plano, Highland Park. They'll get all they'll get all yes. these kids. So I think that's that's the that's the best thing Very I think could happen. I think you I, I think we have a top ten team just recruiting DFW. Right. Oh, you, uh, right. Uh, fair right and, in and Houston. Right, right here. Exactly. And, yeah. and, and, right here I mean, in Texas. The players on our team from, from from Houston. I mean, it was a ton of it was yeah. seven of us from my high school. No way. Okay. Yes. Is that right? Seven for your high school seven, senior? Seven. Think about that. Like I think you, we you, they, there was not seven from Beasley. No. They, oh, no, no right. One from seven. Seven, 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 seven people. people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the high school only had 20 people, you know. So. <laughs> 15 in my graduate. Yeah. Yeah. 15 in your graduate. I, I thought I was saturating, <laughs> but, <laughs> but you are so right now, you, you're not going to lose these Texas kids. To the Florida States, you know, Notre Dames, yeah, Alabama's, you know, Alabama, you drive Alabama, 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 Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. just go. They're gonna stay right here in their backyard yeah. where the parents can come watch them play. And they can go and before we were hoping university. like they'd come back and transfer back, but now that we're in the big leagues, right. you know, because I couldn't understand. We always talk about it. how can TCU and Baylor have better athletes Ooh. than this? And you know, no, don't, don't get me don't started. Get me started. No, 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 don't get me started. Don't get me started. But my point was, it's just you have so many great Texas kids that we want. You know, the Baylor's, you know, so much for that story. But, yeah. But yeah, now we'll get. By the way, he did warn me about Sunday nights. I'm saying, you know, before it all happened, you were just like, well, watch what, it. Watch what, it. You're warning me about it. You're warning me that Sunday's going to like stab me in the back. We're going to we're gonna have to cut that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to say this much. He cut him. So, you know, <laughs> you know I, I, give my, I give credit where credit is due. Sunday nights came did a great job. He did. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. I tried but, hard to keep him. But the thing is, the one thing is, if, if you're going to. Do something. Do it right. If I'm if I'm gonna leave, I would come to you and say, "Bill, look, I'm gonna be honest. With you. Thank you for the opportunity, mm -hmm. but you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and move on because of I want to play on a bigger stage and I want to be in a big conference. And I'm just being honest with you. Right? Not sneak around like like Ursa did yeah. <laughs> when he stuck the coats out of, yeah. out of Baltimore. Sneak around the Mayflower truck. Yeah, yeah. 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 That, that's 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 the thing. Good. I don't, that's thing I don't like. I know. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. So, yeah. And, 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 and that, that, that was hurtful. That was probably the worst thing about me. It's, you know, yeah. and that's what I hate. He could he could he could have called me. We're good friends, right? Yeah. No, yeah. He, yeah. he could have easily called me and just said, "Hey, man." Love you, you know. Thanks for all you did for me. You went bad for me, blah blah blah. But he did. Anyway, let's talk about that. Anyway, I'm so glad y'all are back. I'm so glad. Congratulations on your homecoming. Thank Good you. to have you here. And uh, you don't know that I have a tight though. Damn right. <laughs> by the way, by the way, <laughs> Dope Walker was a friend of mine. I was like, man, I, I love. I, I would, uh, he was Dope the greatest. Oh man, Dope he was the, the greatest, sweetest man. man you know, yes. and I knew him when I was, in, uh, you know, a teenager. Yeah. You know, and uh, by that time he had lived in Colorado, and I mean. The nicest guy. The nicest yep. guy. Yep. And I visualized okay. a dope walker, Eric Diggs, and Craig James statue in front of the, the Zaph Leg Department. Well, I would love that. Hate conversation. I would love but, that. But I mean, I just think about it. When you think of SMU, you think about the great dope walker. You, you think, think about, about dope. Eric you think about Don Meredith. Exactly. You think yeah. about, uh, yeah. You yeah. Know, and you know. I, I just think, why not? I, you know we what? got some other statues yeah. around here that needs to be taken really down, but that's another story. <laughs> oh, my God. The after the after. It's after a couple bottles. Oh, no. Oh, no. I know, I know, I know. No, no. Well, I wanted to get invited back, so I can see it. Okay, you have an open invite. Man. Both of you, both. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you for doing this. Yes. Thank you, thank you for joining uh, joining me with a glass of wine, and I'm just proud to have y'all as friends. And you know, we we've gotten to know y'all really well over the last, you know, I don't know, right. five, six five, years. Six, yeah, right, yeah. Right. it's just fantastic. Anyway, proud Mustangs. Hey, go Mustang. Pony up. Yeah. Pony up. Pony up. Pony up. Go Mustang. Thanks, Billy. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining us on the Walking Strong podcast. Appreciate all you guys listening. Nothing left to say. Harvey Armstrong, Eric Dickerson, thank you guys for joining us. Catch you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Love it. Bill, do you want? I'm going to fuck with you. I can so take a picture. I'm going to fuck with you. Yes. Yeah. I'm a photo guy. Okay. No, you in it. I want you to be in it. I like this. Come on in. It's fun. When I'm around here, they call me Mr. Kodak guy. <laughs> <laughs>
Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to take pictures all the time. That's when we when we doing it. Come on. Okay. I like that bottle with that pony on it. I know it's a special bottle. It's, I yeah. like that. Oh, yeah. Cool. Best wine cool. in the country. Yeah. Yeah, right. right. Okay, we're gonna find out. All right, so you're gonna we're gonna find out. Yeah. So you're gonna start it. Yep. Then I'll uh, talk about the wine a little bit, and then uh, I'll pour you guys a glass, okay. and then we're gonna just kind of just riff from there. Okay. Cool. okay. No You're problem. leading the way on that. No yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. Okay. okay. <clears throat> this is Eric's first interview, so he might, he might be nervous. He's nervous. Can't He's you nervous. How's the sound? Everything good? Yep. Okay. Not too much. This is our first time he's ever he's ever used these mics, so we're doing it. Okay. So we've done some test. testing. It sounded good testing, earlier. Testing, one, two, three, test. You can only run. Here. Okay, here. Oh, okay. 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 okay, cool. Is that is that high enough? Uh -huh. or am I getting too much of my double chin? Too much of his double chin? Yeah, really? <laughs> huh? No double chin. No double chin. Bill, we, I thought right, Bill said we're going to have makeup artists here. Wait, can, can, we, can we get a little <laughs> Filter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. If you say something that you just like regret later, we'll edit it. Yep. Okay. 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 <laughs> Cool. Here we go. Thanks for listening to the On the Pony Express podcast with Billy Embody. Follow us on your socials on X at SMU on three and on Instagram at on three SMU. And keep it locked to onthepony for more coverage.